Hello, hello, my name's Green Guy, and today we're back, we're back. Um, Manchester City, Champions League winners, even though it says Conference League. Um, we'll have a quick look at that. Um, we did finish the Premier League first, obviously, as I already said. Um, I've done the last few games off camera, so they weren't interested. And come on, we already won the Prem. Um, Tottenham Hotspur, they won... <coughs> they won a trophy. No, that's a joke. Um... RB Leipzig won the Europa League, which is fair enough. And um, City winning. Wow, City winning the champs. Um, we're not surprised about that. Villa Real. I mean, Chelsea winning. We've not really, really seen that. I've already seen this one too. If we go to the Carabao Cup. Um, obviously, we won that. Go to FA Cup. Um, City won it. Um, it was an Indian mean, It was quite obvious. Um, semi-final, even though it looked like Chelsea struggled a little bit there. As you can see, we did slip on what well, I slipped on one game with one loss. Um, we had five draws as well, though, so it was not bad at all. Um, unfortunately, Manchester United have been kicked out of Champions League football this year. Um, you know, similar to how it's going to be in real life. Um, but anyway, let's stop throwing shade and let's... Um, we're going to go to the 13th so we can do a bit more training. Obviously, as you can see, off camera, I've also been doing training as well. So we've ranked back up to a 95, which is what we like to see. Um, I hate how every time we go to training, it glitches it. Um, obviously, I did win the May Player of the Month, which is very nice. Um, I am still a bit annoyed that we didn't get Player of the Tournament, um, and it was Bernard Leno. I mean, come on, Bernard Leno started to slip after we won a trophy. <clears throat> It's fair enough, you know, because we already won. But obviously, for me, I don't, I don't like to slip at all. And he did slip. And hopefully, um, he does enjoy his time off, I guess. Um, with the player of the month shortlist, Ronaldo was there. Because obviously, um, Ronaldo definitely topped it. Obviously, he was player of the um, Champions League 2. Um, I don't have that one, though. Uh, I don't think that's all I, that's all I have for that. So we're just going to go... Straight onto the field. The training round. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting the most. Obviously, we've got Bukayi Saka. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got Bukayi Saka with us. Um, this is this is not England training. This, even though it says England, this isn't England training. This is um, Arsenal training. Because it says Gabriel Martinelli, and unfortunately, Aaron Ramsdale and Julian Pickford did not get invited to the World Cup. Bit unrealistic, but it's whatever. Um, I'm hoping for next season we do start with um, our man Aaron Ramsdale because um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I haven't thought much of um, Bernard's, I mean, Leno's performances at the moment. Um, it hasn't been the best. It's been alright, but it's been a bit average. Um, so yeah. Oh, that was a bit of a mess up. Can I suck her? That would have been nice. Um, what does I have to say? Oh yeah! So, I don't know if you guys have seen the transfer rumours. I doubt it's true. But because um, Manchester City only signed a year contract with Sterling. Um, actually, I'm not sure if he's still got a contract left. Probably does. Because he was going to... I don't think his contract expired. But um, there's been rumours that in the summer, Sterling will be moving to Arsenal. There are simply rumours. And, you know, I'm not sure if Sterling would actually go for Arsenal as a club. But um, I think it would be a great addition to the Gunner squad. Because, you know, um, as I've said in FIFA, obviously FIFA and real life is two different things. If you can compare real life to FIFA, you're an absolute... Anyway, um... As I have said though, um, with FIFA, Arsenal, one thing they lack is attack at the moment. And um, it doesn't take a genius to know that Arsenal's been lacking it. Um, so, you know, I feel like they do need a super attacker. And I think um, Sterling could genuinely play as a striker. And if not, um, him alongside uh, Saka or Odegaard or whatever as wingers. Um, with him, well, him going like left, left wing, and then um, Gabriel Martinelli, or not, oh, sorry, not Gabriel Martinelli, Martin Odegaard or Bukayi Saka, maybe going somewhere alongside with that. Um, 
yeah, I'm waffling, but I just feel like it could work. Anyway, let's go straight into our international games, um, because, you know, we've got stuff to be doing. Uh, we are inside of the World Stadium. Um, all right. Well, this well, is the kind of match every football fan... Let's have a quick look at ratings before we go any further. Trent Alexander on. Well, Raheem Sterling, 95. Uh, Marcus Edwards, 79. He's doing well. What team is he? I don't know what team Marcus Edwards plays for. Um, Jack Grealish is an 85. Uh, Mason Mount's 85. Declan Rice, 85. Jordan Henderson, 83. Um, Aaron Criswell is 79. Joe Gomez, 83. Harry Maguire, 84. <laughs> Trent Alexander Arnold, 88. Dean Anderson, 82. Kyle and Phillips, 83. AM Jane Century, 87. Tarwalski, 80. Danny Ings, 80. Vakai Saka, 87. Reese James, 84. Nick Pope, 81. Um, I'm not going to go into the Chinese team because I've got a lot of Chinese people. I'll be honest with you. Alright, let's go. Um, Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. I'm Jeff. Oh, big chance! Big chance. Defending of the highest class to stop him. To be completely honest, I'm not expecting a lot from the team. Is it going to be Raheem Stone? Wow. I was not wrong when I said don't expect a lot from the team. Obviously we are starting off with what I think what I would call realistic Sterling getting a starting goal for the World Cup and what I can see happening in December. Uh, I'm not sure if this is true but it's been rumoured that the um, World Cup games will be in December or well, they'll be during the daytime and it will I mean, some people are saying that it's Help like yourself. money, money issue, not money issue, but like passing. money, you know, because people are going to be at school and work and whatever. But, um, yeah, no matter how you look at it, it's a bit awkward, but, you know, hopefully, I mean, the final's hardly, the final's not possible, to be on a school day or a thing, because the final's on the 18th, or it's supposed to be on the 18th, and if it is on the 18th, um, pretty much every school in England will be done right then. And, um, yeah. Obviously, there's no guarantee that we'll make it to the finals, and I hope very much we do get to the finals. There's no guarantee of it. So, you know, if it's like Poland versus um, Netherlands or something, I'm not sure how that works for them. Um, if I'm honest, I think final game, I could be wrong here. But my prediction for the final is Italy versus England. That's my predictions for a final. Um, you know, think of it. Anyway. Move this from England. It's just an opinion. Grealish. Sterling. It's there for him. A goal! He's got his hat trick, and we're coming off because we have nothing else to do. He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Thank you. Well, here's the goal again, and you have to say. China. You didn't bring anything back, you didn't bring anything back, cool. Um, wasn't expected much. <laughs> okay, we've already finished that game. Um, we're gonna do 50 career appearances. Okay. Oh, this year, I was going to say in general. Um, I mean, I don't think we've really missed any games this year. There wasn't many games. I mean, well, I could see from the news, it was for everyone. I'm not sure, so. Nice. So we get to play against Odegaard and Haaland's team, no? You go Haaland and Martin Odegaard. Um, you know, get to see two. I mean, one, I mean, technically two friends, but if Stern is leaving this summer, I'm not sure Highland will be able to become friends with him. So maybe one friend, but maybe they're really friends. Uh, we're going to start off with him. Where are we? We're in Wall Stadium again. Yeah. 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 Ye
Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're about to bring you this World Cup group stage and we're they don't have to put it's our Norway stadium in, in against in England. Game. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Come on, come on, come on. Sterling. Outpaced. Sterling. Um. Will he find the net? I thought that was yeah, a lot well. easier there. I can't overestimate it. Well, we it defensively. I mean, the Norwegians are really good, so, you yeah. know. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going, going to pop, pop up, up and shine. shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, Derek, he's a player that thrives on goals, and he scored a hat trick last time out. And I'm sure we're going to see him play with great confidence today. He really looks to be a threat whenever he gets the ball. I think we're going to see another outstanding performance from him. It's a weighted pass, clattered away. Ah. Oh. oh, give it away, Raheem Sterling. This game's going to be a pain. I can just feel it. Edison. Well, fine use of the ball. Chance to cross. A concession of a corner here. Well, it was a close call, but the fans are not happy with that decision. And over it comes. Thank you. Well, threat about it. Yeah. Come on, we're faster. Tackle, take it away. Faster than the Norwegians. Martin Odegaard. Holland. And it's in. Holland. Holland's making our life difficult. And England get us moving again. A quick response required after the setback. Sterling takes it Come forward. On. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, slightly off target. And that'll be a throw in. Anderson, and he was at thought just then. Elianusi. We tried it though. I'm very much now tried it. You. I'm a bit scared here though. Haaland is a very good player. Mitsu. The whole of the is pretty good. Good technique displayed, but ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Mount. It's looking promising. Oh, surely! That's high level that, fell. that was an awful well, shot, absolutely awful. He's such a good Come keeper. on, we can do better than that. Let's go on the wing. Plenty of running room in the wide position. It's like that low. Oh, that's oh, quite that often in Norway. And the like has given the corner. So oh, maybe God. Scott here for them to add to their lead. It's on, like, it's, what is it? Oh, really good. If you pronounce, what, what does it mean? Like? If you pronounce it's O still, what difference does it mean? Is, that, is it the same thing in you know, a different, like, way to show it? Now, sending it in. It makes the same sound. And the just wide of the mark. I'm not sure, but it's kind of... Come on, mate, move. Come on. Flash into everything. Good pressure. Can, they make like, can you not run up a wing? A terrific pass. Can you not, not run? And dribbling and this with keep it, is actually play. awful. Mohamed Elianusi. 
Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Right, come on. Declan Rice. Sterling, such a difficult player to thwart. It could be up for grabs. Okay, got a good keeper. That's it. Well, nothing on to ward. Ambushing keeper like that. Um, well, still I behind here, said. but only due to some incredible it. goalkeeping. Um, Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Oh, I like this. I don't like how good Norway is. It's with Erdogan. On attacking possibilities. Martin Erdogan. Martin Odegaard is like what you want to no hear in your house because you know you think the goal's coming and then when it's at the World Cup you still worry because you know you can give it to the heart and then it's Raheem attacking Sterling. and you know he takes the shot there's a chance it goes in finally and it goes the leveler thrilling stuff here we're still proud we're still proud of the team we're still doing it we're still pushing forward so underway again here on the back of that leveler scary start Wonderful attacking play. Because they've got such a big defence, that's kind of like. Surely, what a goal! goal. Another one. What a goal! Two in quick succession. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, back no, underway as we, we call reflect on the goal that's made it 2 1. Sterling logic. You run in, go back, pull it back, boot it down, and hope for a good finish. And what do you know? We got a good finish. And we will have just one additional minute. Martin Erdegaard. And the timing was perfect. Ball one. Come on. A chance half time for coming off. Oh, to I'm so their keep it moving. It is half time here. We need to keep it moving. Yeah, go. And they're making a change. Yeah. I like how it's going so far. We're still winning um, against Norway. And we've got one more game, I think. So, I'm going to do some where's the dribbling one. It's called ball control. That one helps out. I'm ranking up, obviously. I'm just going to do this one, then we're going to go straight into another game. So, we can try and see how much we can get done today. Obviously, going to the, to the World Cup now, you know, it's pretty exciting in some eyes. To me, it's not that exciting. I mean, to me, it's very exciting in real life, but in FIFA, it's not that exciting. I mean, if you win it, it's pretty cool, but it's not that exciting in FIFA. It's not the same experience you get from singing, touching me, touching you. And I'm not gonna lie, even though the Euros was an awful defeat, there's nothing that beat that, that could beat it. I mean, it was a hot summer. Um, we, were, we were going around singing Sweet Caroline And I mean the night when I remember we had the Euros finals Yeah we lost and that, that still does hurt a lot <laughs> But it was an electric night I remember everyone singing Sweet Caroline um, And it's coming on, it's coming And it, I feel like obviously according to the people of Qatar um, it's coming home, will be banned or something, or something. that's what, what you call it, UEFA say or something, which is a bit stupid, I think. But um, either way, getting to sing is coming home or not, it's gonna be a great summer, I think, or a great winter even, because it's winter time. 
this time, um, do you really think this is the right time, Mikel Arteta? Huh? You didn't get the email one time, huh? You sent the email. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right. Um, either way, I don't know why they haven't put us through forward to the next round already. Because even if we lose to Poland, we ah, oh, I forgot they've got Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks yes. forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay with us. We'll have all Come the action on. for you live right here on EA TV. Hello, everyone, and welcome. What we can't complain about today is the weather. Absolutely perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek. Is it going to be Raheem Sterling? Nah, it can't and a goalkeeper in great form. And he's just pulled this off is an one first kick that you've got to do to see if his goalkeeper's good or bad. And this England goalkeeper's first pretty good. 11. Harry Maguire plays alongside Joe Gomez in centre of the And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Edwards. Zielinski. And now Zielinski. Mili. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Okay. Matty Cash. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, four goals in his last three appearances says it all, doesn't it, Derek? He's been absolutely yes. outstanding. He's taken the chances to come his way, and he looks a real threat every time he gets the ball. I could boot that one there. Poland's got a good. Um... And in the perfect position to read it. No, they've got a good formation, obviously. Jack Grealish. Good, you know, working. Can he put them in front? Epic counter. And mopping up defensively. Sterling, Come on, Jackie. Mount. Too bad Edwards. That. Henderson. And now Sterling. Why would you put that? real that pressure situation? here. Come on. What kind of pass was that? Zielinski. And now Zielinski. All right, so we've got um, this last Mathieu game here, Ribos. which should be done easy. Um, I'm not worried for the game. She's not excited. Lewandowski. And now Zielinski. There's a slide draw pass. Mele! And a goal! One nil it is! They've been crossing the top of the you put dead keepers in the goal. Put Jordan Pickford in. None of this would happen. A quick response required after the setback. Zielinski, Lewandowski, and he did well to cut it out. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? But it fizzles out thanks to that piece okay. of defending. Come on, man. We can keep going forward if we just... We can do better, I don't know. Using a strength we to will do better ball. before half time. This looks threatening. Still could put it away. Defended well. Mount. Henderson has it. Unable to keep the ball. This is what you do. Huh? Sterling. Can he finish? Still alive. Get the rebound. Mm -hmm. So England behind. And for inspiration from this corner. Yeah. 
Come on, Jackie. Let that hair spray. Really good challenge. Done that right, that would have been a majestic goal. Pressing as a team. Really good attacking play. This could square the game. And still danger here. All right. On a time for composure on the ball. Chance to cross. Sterling. Cuts it back. Come on, Short that could have been good. Could have been amazing. Rebus with it. Zielinski. The tackle completely missed time, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Yes. Well, he's had his name taken by the referee. Well, he knew he was going to get booked. It's a poor tackle, really. I think this is my third, first red card all year. Which hurts quite a bit. Well, straight into the meat of the penalty area. And he needed a bit more downward direction on the header. Direction, just highly the biggest direction, it's just height. That was perfect direction. And there to intervene. How can he take them on and beat them? I just want to knock someone out right now. It's unfeel. That common England feeling is getting into my veins right now. Arkadiusz Milik, Zielinski. Come on! So it is the first half story. No, 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 no. Keep going. We don't have time to mess around. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Arkadiusz Milik. Now Krikowiak. Zielinski. It's with Milik. Fuksa. And now Zielinski. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Alert defending. Jack Grealish. Henderson. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Mount. And now Sterling. Well, back again. Sterling's done it again. I don't know why Sterling keep doing it. So back underway, following the equaliser. Must be a Ronaldo. He keeps doing it every time to get balls done. Good technique displayed. Can he give them the lead? If only you pass. Sorry. Pass would have been in front. It would have been as sick as this. Zielinski. This is Robert Lewandowski. Arkadiusz Milik. Mm -hmm. And can they prize them open now? And continues his run. He cuts it back. Well, able to close down the short. Lewandowski. Come on, Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Arkadiusz Milik. They really look after the ball when they have it. Milik. 
Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Still could put it away. And a goal! In the lead again, fully deserved. So there we have it. 2-1. Rigoviak. It's with Milik. It's more like a sack of agreement. Lewandowski. Well, the attack looks promising. Lewandowski. Will it happen for them? Good pressure to win the ball. No, 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 the no, 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 no. Very quick thinking there. Edwards. Saka. Opportunity in the wide area. Sterling. Could be. And a goal. No, that's what he so it level is contest. Oh. Leaven. Henderson. He's taking me over Jake, isn't he? Danny Ings for Sterling. I was expecting someone like Jaden, really. That's who I really wanted to come on. We'd have more confidence then. Right. If I can remember, there's this weird FIFA glitch where you have to, like, yeah, you have to end the season to get to the round 16. Which is stupid, but oh well. Oh, I thought they, they said that um, we'll be facing Norway. I was going to get scared there, so I, started, so I went silent for so long. I was going to say, no, 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 we're not going to see that club again. But anyway, if we do play phase forward from the round of 16, which we should be able to play today, we seem to have enough time. Um, if we do go through past the round of 16, um, we should be able to, you know, get ready for quarters, semis, and even finals, I would say. Um, I don't think Argentina is going to be the hardest team possible. But, um, obviously, um, we've got round 16, so. And we'll go to quarters, which is eight, and then that will go to the semis, which are four, and then the final. What the hell? Where's my energy? I'm not being on the training film. Ooh, Portugal versus Belgium. France versus Brazil. Italy versus Spain. Italy qualified. Right, come on. I haven't got time to waste now, so we're just gonna play the game. Because, um, I just wanna... Deli Ali! Well, what a game we have in store mm. for you today. The hype has been building all week, and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. Yeah, well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening, it's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And we have a very intriguing match to bring you this World Cup round of 16 tie. It's England versus Argentina. Well, Derek, this is when teams start thinking about winning the tournament. One game away from the quarterfinals, and Come what on. a game this should be. Full of skill, passion, Come and physicality. I'm really looking forward to this. 
There wasn't much in that offside decision. Could have been in business. Well, they couldn't keep possession. England. Going about Come his defensive on. business with a minimum of fuss. This is so competitive there, Hurts. If we don't win this Jack one, it's going to have to hold on. Here's Matt. Right. Deli Alley. Not no, getting anxious when they have I mean, the ball. Look at the stage that we're in. Ready. Around the 60. We're ready. I mean, I'm not worried. Well, it's a I'm team ready. full of stars, and you never quite know who's going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Perhaps Stuart, you. it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique, and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Real chance. Yes. And it goes. An early goal. Should have no tightly marked us so I'm thinking next season we'll do a little fiction or something. Well, the match because, is restarted, you know, one nil here. Not? We're gonna fictionally say that Sterling's new balance um, contract ending is coming back to the night. So it's a bit, you know, it's not realistic. It's Gomez. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw. <laughs> it's an oh yeah. You've got people like Sterling Correa. new balance athlete, Jaden Sunshine. Athlete, really getting stuck in. And then there's Jack Grealish, Gucci. Can they convert? Gucci, no. They had to react and did. Why oh, Gucci on the team? He's given us away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure, obviously, that's not his kick. I mean, that's not his boot. I mean, that's not his shoes. Good effort here. Really Gucci boots. Good timing shot to make sure the threat came to nothing. And over comes the corner. Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Who can they pick out? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Come on. Fred over for now, it seems. This is looking threatening. It's not Sterling pace. And Sterling has it. Is that Calhoun too? Well, as we see it again, he was never going to yes. miss that, was he? That's a. So come off now. Oh, come on. Really simple finish in the end. Well, a second goal for them here. James Ward passes Argentina. He's not Argentina. I'm waffling to myself again. Um. Dibala. Now, what can they do from here? Correa. Not showing good patience. Taglia Fico. Here's for Celso. Mm -hmm. yes, it's a perfect challenge. Mount. Well, that is how to run at defenders. Well, oh, comes a bit. That she is no. That is really annoying. Nice. Jack Grealish. Sterling. And possession lost by England. <laughs> this is actually really annoying because oh, this is my I can come off. I thought I couldn't come off because I was too low. Dibala. I have a really bad feeling that like the quarter fight is going to have to go to France or something. I don't want to go to France. I don't want to go to France. He can't. He can't. He can't. He's given his team a real. Oh, yes. He scored. Delhi Ali. Thank you, Delhi. Thanks, mate. You saved us. Right, um, it's probably going to make us terminate again, which would be stupid of them, but you know, it's FIFA, so nothing ever gets fixed in this game. So, um, we're just going to have to deal with it because it's not going to get fixed, and I keep going up and down in my voice, but it's cool. Um, yeah, good to have a little conversation when you ask the man himself. Uh, ooh. I forgot it's a new season already, so... While well, we're playing World Cup football, they're doing transfers. Well, it's not really a new season, but...
the season's over, so technically it's a new season. But it's cool. Because I think we're staying at Arsenal because Saka's probably staying at Arsenal. If Saka stays at Arsenal, I stay at Arsenal. Saka leaves or Smith Rowe leaves or, you know, um, Odegaard leaves. Then maybe it'll be time for me to leave. But with that said, we do need new defenders and we need new um, midfielders. So Sancho, um, yeah, Sancho. <laughs> and. Uh, Maybe, you know, we need some forwards as well because we lost some forward. we lost a forward, didn't we? Um, so, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, you want to come forward, Harry Kane? Just switch to the right side of North London. Oh. Oh, how's that allowed? I love how buggy FIFA is, it's just amazing, ain't it? Right, uh, we have time for the quarters, I'm not sure we'll get to the finals or the semis. Um, so we're just gonna wait a few days. Yes, and then we've got that. And that already has, it's already just slipped us into the new season. Oh, I see. Because June end is the end of the season. I see what's, oh, come on. Are you trying to be funny? Are you trying to be funny? You know what, I'm not doing this. I'm rejecting the stupidness. And I'm not doing this today. Alright? I'll be back in another video. With that said, though, we have already got our first goal off. The thing. Um, so sad we didn't win on the player of the year in, um... In this year, in 2021-2022, we're now in 2022-23, um, already, or oh, still first, obviously. Um, we are in the community shield, we're City, because City won uh, the dinghy. And, um, yes, let's have a quick look at what's going on over here. Uh, you're just there. Um... Eeyore is still here, Eddie didn't get to you, you're still there. Um, ben Arlena, your contract's expiring, it's about time. <laughs> I'm sorry guys. Um, Kieran Tierney, yes. Marina, yes. Tavares, yes. Um, Korowa? Oh, fair enough. Um, Ben White, mm -hmm. and Dika, and Dika. Mm -hmm. Your contract's expiring as soon as you came. You prize a free agent, I was gonna say. Uh, it's a Bellerin, expiring. Swanson, alone listed. AZ mate, the Niles. By the way, just to clarify, I'm also entered in 12 months, but it doesn't say that because um, I'm one of the best. Lucas Torreira, Lucas Torre, Torreira, um, is leaving, maybe, which will be quite, I mean, I wasn't that excited when he joined, to be honest, um, Granite Shaka is obviously still here, so what we like to see, um, Gabriel Martinelli, still here, what we like to see, um, uh, Idaho, he's still here, what we like to see, Smith Rowe, he's not leaving anymore, I'm happy, um, how old is he? 21. Um, he's not leaving, what we like to see. Oh, he's an 86 now, I don't know. Um, he's not leaving, which is what we like to yeah, Actually, contract's not looking too good. Reese Nelson has got a contract that's expiring. Um, Raheem Stern, one of the world's best. Um, I'm not being scouted, so I don't get to see my things. No worries, me. The fact that everyone's going up. 87. 86. Smith Rowe is 82. And, I mean, if he's 21 and Saka's. 20? 
Yeah, so there. Wait, what? So he's. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit sticky. But anyway, I'm not going to go to that today. My name is Green Guy. Thank you for watching, people. Uh, yeah, I've got some stuff to check out. So I will see you later. Goodbye.